Hey, welcome back everybody. Today's show is all about camping and when you're camping a lot of people are also doing some fishing. Uh, the DNR just came out with a really cool new recipe book and I know if you watch the show you're probably into recipes and I know a lot of guys watch the show too. So guys uh, go to the website and you can download this. Uh, it's called Healthy Dishes with Wisconsin Fishes. It's chock full of recipes um, using all different species of fish and it's really cool and it's free so um, that's even better if you go to our website we'll have information on how you can get the book so mike is here from the dr dnr uh the first segment i we we're all impressed because you like took that fish and you like you handled it baby that's what I, do. It was, uh, that's what I, do. <laughs> I mean like he said i said how long is it going to take you to fillet that fish and it's like one minute and yeah sure enough in about one and a half minutes this ginormous fish was all ready to roll and then we made a great marinade uh, what was in that marinade Maple syrup mm. and soy sauce and a little lemon juice. And Mike has given me a hard time because he says I did not do near enough pepper. Lots of pepper, almost Lots coated pepper. with pepper. All yeah. right. So and that's the ginger, a, sorry, if you wanted to put ginger in there, ginger. that'd kick it up too. That would be Fresh really, ginger. really yummy. Yep. And then let it marinate. I think a lot of people, when they think fish, they think, oh, I don't want to marinate it too long, but four hours up to overnight. Yep. Flesh side down. Flesh side down in yep. that marinade, yep. skin side right. up. So. And you want it in a small enough pan that it coats all the sides. Okay. You don't want it to just be dabbling yeah. on it, right? You yeah. want it to soak. You want it in there. So right. we yep. used a nice nine by thirteen pan. It's got yep. company coming. This is great because you can do it, you know, a good day before. And then I've got to get myself one of these baskets. I don't have one of these now and no. uh, I you know it makes me kind of nervous when I'm grilling a delicate fish. So we just put our three fillets, they fit mm -hmm. perfectly in there. Mm -hmm. Steelhead and a Chinook. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, open this baby up. Sorry. Pretty, pretty. No, you're the great. One on the left. Yeah. Look at that. And then when you go to eat it, the skin's gonna peel right away from from the flesh. Yes, it will. Oops. Ooh. It's trying to peel away Ooh. already. Three minutes on each side. You yeah. don't want to overcook it. Right. This looks fantastic. Oh my gosh. Wow. Perfect. Yum yum. I'm coming to your camping. Okay, great. Spot Anytime. for sure. Anytime. Okay, so now we're going to do a real Wisconsin fish fry. And uh, this is a fish. Who caught this fish for you? My friend Chip. Chip, thanks for On the Lake fish. Lake Winnebago. We love it. We love it. What kind of fish is it? Largemouth bass. Largemouth bass. It looks, um, man, it, for like a people who like a white flaky fish, yep, this looks yep, really, yep, yep, yep. really nice. It's very good. So what, what are the tips? We're going to do a fish fry, a Wisconsin fish fry, which, I mean, come on, there's nothing better. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got a few different tips and tricks to do this, it's something that you might not ordinarily do, starting with the flour. Okay. Uh, the recipe called for oat flour, and actually you can make oat flour yourself. I did it at home because I was having trouble finding it at the local stores. So I went ahead and uh, just put a cup of oats in a food processor, pulse it until okay. you get a powder like this. Okay, and so about a cup of oats will give you a cup of flour. Really? And, and then really you can use it for oatmeal cookies, you know, not to after the fish, sure, but you know, sure. in general. Um, but you really want to make sure it's nice and fine, or right. you can find it available. They know they have it at the bulk food shop. We love right. that store. Um, so we're yep. going to put some you of the bet. oat flour down here. Correct. But I love that idea because the first thing I thought of is where the heck do you get oat flour? Um, yep. and, but I've, I've definitely got oatmeal. so. You could just put it in your food processor and, and pulse the heck out of it. Is that about enough? One cup? Yep. That's okay. Fine. Okay. So there goes our oat flour. All mm -hmm. right. Now what's next? Um, you gonna crack a few eggs? You You're better at that than me. I oh. can guarantee you that. Thank and make you. Make a mess at home. No worries. I always say that's what vacuums and dogs are for. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Two eggs. We'll beat With, those. Yep. No milk or anything like that in there? No. Nope. Very simple recipe then. Yep. Super Very simple. simple. This yep. is how I roll. I like this. Yep. So I actually have two fish here. They're both largemouth bass. Obviously one was quite a bit smaller than the other. Okay, and I'm gonna just be careful. <laughs> put, I've got some oil, oil that we're gonna heat up. And we're just the side using burner. what any special type of uh, oil? Canola oil. Canola oil. Yep. Okay. And then this, this bass is uh, the larger one. It's kind of a little bit too big. It's nicer to have smaller portions, right? Yes. Fry it up better. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half. So we have four portions that we're going to use. We've got a little dredging process going yeah. on here. So okay. ready? into the oat flour. We're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Put in the oat flour. Okay. Get a nice coating on it. Get in my hands dirty. Yep. I mean, that's the only way to do it. Right. Get in there. Okay. And then we're going to do the, the egg, egg bath. Wash. 
And then the last thing we have are uh, Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Correct. For a nice little crunch. I like that idea. Oof. And then it said to roll it in the breadcrumbs. Okay. How would you roll it in the breadcrumbs? Well, crumbs? just kind of, you know, just what you're doing. Back yeah, and forth. That's a roll. Back and forth. That's rolling it. Yep. You just want a so, nice cover. And then into our deep fryer. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to have you keep doing it. Because your hands are already dirty, I'll man the fish and I'll just, uh, I'll let you keep going on this. Okay. And this, like the fish we did on the grill, very quick, right? Yes. I yes, mean, it's yep. quick. Yep. And you were asking before about getting that fishy taste away. I really like to clean them right away. And then I'll go ahead after I clean them, you know, I mean, gutting them and, and, and filleting them. Immediately. I, yep. And then I like to, to use a paper towel, get all the blood off, sop that up, and okay. cold wash it, you know? Okay. In cold water. And that makes a huge difference, huh? Yes, yep. I think bleeding, it really makes a big difference. Okay, good to know. And you can even do that in the field, you know? Lemon and tartar sauce and oof. rye bread. I'm so ready for a good Wisconsin fish fry. And I love the idea of using your, doing it outside, um, especially if you're camping or even if you're at home doing this, because man, it can smell up the house and your house smells like a, a you know, fish fry tavern for a while. But we've all got these grills. Most of them have side burners. I say use them. Or you can also buy, you know, all sorts of, frying gadgets that you can do it Correct. at home. Um, I can see that this is ready to flip, so I'm going to sure. do it. Look at that. Yeah, it looks Golden. beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. So again, where can we get this great um, free cookbook? Where can everybody go to download it? Download it off of our DNR website. Okay. Yeah, and you can even do a Google search or something like that. Okay. I, that's again, how I found it. I love originally. the name of the book. It's called Healthy Dishes with Wisconsin Fishes. So the two recipes that we uh, did today, the maple glazed a salmon and then of course this um, Wisconsin fish fry with the the oat flour and the egg and the breadcrumbs you can both find them both um, in that book this is looking done what do you think what it are we looking beautiful. for beautiful it's kind of starting to flake a little bit huh you can see it's kind of separating and uh, obviously the golden brown color will give you a good sign that so, it's done. So, once again, you don't want to overcook it. You no, just want to no, have it. yeah, Ooh. yeah. Three, four minutes on each side, especially if you got about 350 degree heat on the uh, oil. That's absolutely perfect. Yep. Mike, thank you so much. Yep, glad to come on oh, anytime. Oh, gosh, uh, we'd love to have a, mm -hmm. um, bring, bring fish and we will cook it. All right, yeah. very good. We'll be right glad back. To be here.